Hey everyone, it's Heidi here. Welcome back. Or if you're tuning in a new, welcome. Today I will be undecorating for Halloween. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this area. I'm also going to be taking out some Christmas decorations that I've been saving up. And I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to decorate a mini tree. I do a two-tier tray. I also have my little ladybug, Alyssa. She will be helping me share with you guys some easy Dollar Tree DIYs for Christmas. So if you're interested on seeing how I decorate it, my breakfast enough for my kids these are affordable diys please keep on watching so all i'm doing here is i'm just taking everything down i didn't want to share a whole lot of me cleaning up so anytime i decorate for another season i do a deep clean in that area and that's what i did i didn't film it i'm also going to be throwing away that spider web it's the web just stuck everywhere and all over my my clothes so i'm just going to go ahead and toss that out it's cheap enough to buy a new one this is the Christmas decorations that I have been collecting. A lot of it is from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, and I have a few Target items. I did share all the Dollar Tree stuff in my last Dollar Tree haul. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. I will link that in the description box. The glitter drape is what I'm gonna start out with first, along with the mini tree. And then I'm gonna have this little plug-in. It's a six feet cord. So instead of me unplugging the tree, climbing underneath the nook, I'm going to go ahead and use the cord and what I'm going to do is attach it to the back. I'll hide it right here in the corner. This is the Halloween pillow. I am actually going to be using this for my Christmas decorations as well. So let's go ahead and get started on this decoration. I am going to fluff out the tree. I'm going to take down the price tag. Plan on hiding the little cord behind the Dollar Tree tree collar. And that way I could just unplug it every night right there and I don't have to climb underneath like I said that little planter is already built in it's actually glass and then this is the dollar tree collar i think it looks really good with it i wasn't sure how it would turn out let me know what you guys think i think it makes it look like i don't know what the word is for that um it meshes well so we're going to go ahead and start out with this beat it garland i purchased this from walmart it's three dollars and 98 cents and i also purchased this online at walmart it was under eight dollars and I'm not going to be using all of those different red colors. The Dollar Tree ornaments, I will be using those. And then I have these cute little gnomes. This is a four pack. I didn't need too many little ornaments. And then I got an A and a B for Brody and Alyssa. I also got these five little mini ornaments. I thought this would go really well with the colors, the black, red, green, and white. And I'll be adding those on the tree. And then also the little tree topper from the Dollar Tree. I also am going to be putting the little Joy wooden ones on there as well. And then we're going to go ahead and start decorating this. I didn't film the entire thing. I think you guys kind of get the idea. I just kind of played around with it to see how it would look. I did move things around quite a bit until I was satisfied with what it looked like. And for the tree garland, I just wrapped it around the front as well as the little ornaments. I didn't bother putting on any of them in the back. You're not going to see them anyway. So this is what the tree turned out. I really do think it looks really cute. My daughter absolutely loved it when she came home from school. I had already had it set up for them to see and they both really liked it. They said it looked good. So I was happy that they really enjoyed it. This is their little area where they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Moving along to the two-tier tray. This is my first time actually decorating a two-tier tray. So if you have any like suggestions on what it looks like, or you could give me some pointers, I bought these little kits that come with everything. I bought two separate ones. They have a ton at Walmart, really, really cute ones. This is a fail right here. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree and I was actually going to add this on around the two-tier tray somehow, but the little wire was completely like fried from it. It wasn't even connected, so it didn't even turn on. So it's a Dollar Tree toss in the trash, um, which is okay. It's a dollar, but I was really hoping to have some lights there to make the thing more magical for my kids. But this is how the tray turned out. Like I said, this is my first time decorating a tiered tray. I wanted to be able to show every angle with something and this is what I came up with. I don't know you guys, let me know what you guys think about this tray. I may move this near my coffee bar because when my kids got home, they kept bumping into the table when they were eating and it would just kind of like topple, like move the gnome or something around. And so I'm not gonna pick it up every time. So this may get moved, I'm not sure yet. I wanted to share with y'all what this looks like at night. 
Now, my living room is not dark. We had the light on, but every other light in the kitchen area was turned off. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to Mommy and My Channel. And today, we are going to do some DOI half Christmas things. My name is Alyssa, and if you, if you, if you never seen Heidi's video, welcome. And let's get started. So we're gonna first start out with these ornaments. I was originally gonna put our names on there, but I found this cute thing that I saw on Pinterest all over where you do all the reindeer names. So for the ornament, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape measure and see kinda like how I can fit the whole word on there without it going too far. So I think I'm gonna do about three inches for each of the little reindeer names. And let's go ahead and get started on that. So I'm gonna use this bright red acrylic paint and I'm gonna pour it in here and then swish it around. This is my first time doing anything to an ornament with paint. So I discovered that I needed to switch it up. This process is taking quite a while. So I took some press and seal and I'm gonna shake it up and see if that will help get it full quicker. You guys, I definitely recommend covering it up and doing it this way. The rest that I have, I'm going to go ahead and use white. And this one is dented. I didn't notice it until after. So I'm going to use this side for the words. So I'm going to go ahead and do these and I'll share with y'all the end results. Okay, you want to do a contest so you can get it done the quickest? One, two, three, go. So some of you guys that have been following me know that Alyssa loves arts and crafts. This was a really fun project to do with her and she actually helped me out quite a bit she got a whole little ornament done and she was having fun doing it with me so that's really what i enjoy is doing things with my kids i do a lot of basketball with my son and arts and crafts with my daughter so now that these are all done i'm going to keep the press and seal on there i'm going to stick them straight down into the cups so that they can dry otherwise they were just rolling off i originally set them on this but it kept rolling and we're gonna go ahead and start painting the little houses. Alyssa has already started on hers. And then we're gonna show you the results. So for the houses, I actually ran out of the white paint. So I had to use a vanilla paint. And it's basically like a creamy white color, which was fine. I mean, that's I was planning on painting it white, but this color, I actually liked it a lot better. So this is what the first coat looks like. We ended up doing three to four coats I can't keep track because we stopped in between and we did other arts and crafts so this is what it looks like after the first coat we're going to go ahead and put another coat on there so while that coat was drying what I'm going to do next is work on the ornaments I have all the names with my Cricut machine done I'm going to cut these out and get them ready to put on to the ornaments the first one that I did was Rudolph actually probably should have done that in the white vinyl instead of the black to make it pop more but I didn't think about it until after I already did it I may change it I'm not sure but for now it's going to stay just like that I'm also going to be buying some ribbon. I thought I had white and black buffalo check ribbon already. Turns out I don't. So I'm going to find some at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around the top of the ornament. Get the snowmelt I made. So, it's a seed. And also, so first we grew the trees, these mini trees. And then, and then we, and then we pushed them down and then we put some snow in it and sink the cats some water but it will leak but if you put it very tight on there and it it just like and then it like just like be a real snow globe and i want it to be a real snow globe because it doesn't look like a snow globe i do have a diy Fail to share with y'all. I had an idea. I saw it on Pinterest. Um, they did use a little bit of different items, but pretty much the same stuff. The snow, that stuff went everywhere. Um, this is what it looks like. I didn't like how it turned out, so I ended up throwing it out. I kept the glass jars, you guys. 
but look at that. It's all over my floor, all over my countertop. I don't like that. So I ended up throwing it out. So this is what it looks like after three to four coats. Alyssa's finishing hers, final touches. We wanted to make the scene magical, so we'll be using Elmer's glue, a paintbrush, and then the faux snow. And we're gonna just put a little bit on there. I'm gonna show you what we ended up doing as decoration with it. So all I did was squeeze some um, on the roof. I didn't put anywhere on the rest of the house, just the roof, and it doesn't have to be perfect just enough for the faux snow to stick to. So I repeated the process to all three of the houses and I decided to put this in my little tray. And what I did was line the bottom of the tray with peel and stick. That way when I get ready to toss all that out, it's not gonna go everywhere. There's Alyssa right there in the background. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the Dollar Tree DIY hack video. And bye guys. See ya. See you later after crocodile. I don't know how to say it. Alligator. After a while, crocodile. So I think when I go to the Dollar Tree again, I'm going to try to find like the many people and create a little scene. Alyssa said we need a road and everything else. Yeah. For now, she's stuck Mr. Olaf <laughs> there. And then I'm going to throw those out like I mentioned. And then for the little ornaments, what I'm going to do is let them dry overnight in those <laughs> cups. So once I get the ribbon for those, I'm going to share the final results. I do have some more reindeer names to put on as well as grab some more ornaments for that. I will be decorating my tree, so I'll also be sharing that with you guys. I also want to do a giveaway. I was planning on doing one when I hit 1,000, but I want to go ahead and do one now. I'm so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. So stay tuned for more details on that giveaway. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, bye guys.